Hey guys, it's Lisa from Turning Pages, and I am actually here quite late in the day, and that's why I'm doing this in front of my window so you can actually see me. And if I keep looking this way, that's because the, like, screen's there and it lets me see what I'm doing. But, um, I forgot to completely, I completely forgot to make an intro to my bookshelf tour, so that's what I'm doing right now. I filled my bookshelf tour earlier in the day and just, it just completely slipped my mind. But that's why I'm here right now to do the intro video. So hey guys, it's Lisa from Turning Pages, and today I'm here to do my bookshelf tour. Um, I actually, if you watched my last video, I think it is, I got rid of like 60-something books, and of course after that you have to clean out your entire bookshelf, dust it, reorganize it, and clean it up and make it look nice, and that's exactly what I did. So yes, I'm super excited for you guys to see, and it is so weird, I should never become a vlogger because my hand is already sore and I am just trying so hard not to look at the screen right now but um yeah i hope you guys enjoy if you want to follow me on any social media definitely do that down below also if you're interested in any of the things you see that'll also be listed down below links to ikea other things like that so yes and don't judge me i can't help it all right so here's a quick overview of my shelves they look like this Super, super clean. I love it. Only took me like seven hours. But that's okay. So I actually have two shelves. I have this bigger one, and they're both from Ikea. The little pink um, doors are also from Ikea. Those white boxes are also from Ikea. The random little boxes are either bought at Marshalls, Ross, or TJ Maxx. And, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I can definitely put the links down below if you're interested in buying any of those things. So that's where you can find that. So let's just get right into this first big shelf. In the first shelf, you're going to just see a lot of stuff on top. And that's either stuff that Joshua got me, pictures, memories, anything that has to do with me and Joshua, some flowers, even the first roses he gave me over four years ago, just a whole bunch of stuff from senior prom, all kinds of stuff. So in this first box right here is actually a lot of random like agenda planning stuff that I'm kind of not willing to show you. These boxes are definitely meant to hide some junk. So we'll just leave it at that. In the first shelf, there are a few books and before I get into like listing the books and what I have in here I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that I do not order them in any certain way I just put them together with the series and sometimes the authors but other than that I don't really you know organize in any way so back there you're gonna see a German trilogy that I have yet to read you're gonna see the Maze Runner you're gonna see Original Sin, Last Rite, and what's this one? Personal Demons, that's all the trilogy. And then you're gonna see two of the books in the Michael Scott like Wizard series or something like that. Then you're gonna see Poison Princess, An Endless Night, Monument 14, Sky on Fire also, Pathfinder, and Ruins. So that's the first shelf. If you move over, this is our first door. You can kind of see my reflection. I don't really like that, that it's so like shimmery. I wish it was more matte, like the shelf itself, but that's fine. And it comes with a little cutesy handle. And inside here, you're gonna find some of the stuff that I'm using for my Etsy shop. You're going to find um, my little change pouch. You're gonna find a lot of like adult books that are like the mass paper print books. And you're gonna find some random books that I couldn't really fit in anywhere. So there's that. I don't think I really want to read all the titles to you because I feel like you mo know most of them. But here are these. Back there I have some of my favorite series. Um, the Perfect Chemistry Trilogy slash series from Simone Alcalez. Um, the Body Finders Trilogy by Kimberly Durding. Um, e the Eve Once and Rise books from Anna Carey, I believe. And then Lori Hall's Anderson's The Knife of Love Never Letting Go, which I have not yet read, but I'm super duper excited. I've heard so many good things. When you come down to the shelf right here, it's just going to be a lot of random stuff. This is more like my childhood books, Spanish books, my Spanish binder from high school, um, some random notebooks, 
and a few other things like my Cricut cutting mats that I bought extra. And yeah, just lots of random stuff that wouldn't look good on a shelf is what I usually put into the boxes and into the drawers. So that way it looks a little bit more organized. Down here I have the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I have the Mara Dyer books. Not all of them, I'm still missing one. I have the High Society series, also missing one or two of those. I have Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I've read the first two, have yet to read the last one. I have one of my favorite books, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Have yet to pick up the second one, even though I really, really, really enjoyed the first one and a couple of other random ones. Then when you come over here, the books in the back are the City of Bones trilogy, or the Mortal Instruments, sorry. Um, I have read up to the third book, so it's really, really sad. But I think that once I'm done working, I'm definitely going to spend some time reading those. Then some more up here. I love, love, love the way these look. That's why I always put those in the front. Then this is another one of those random shelves where I kind of just keep things that just would never look good. Um, and they're like little boxes with movies or CDs or books that just didn't fit in somewhere or books that were oddly shaped. Another thing I don't really like about these is you can see fingerprints and that's why if it was matte you wouldn't be able to see that. But still they're really really cute and perfect to hide anything that's a little bit messy looking. Here, when you come down here you have Divergent, Insurgent, and Elysian. I've read and loved all of those. We also have Horde, just kidding, we also have Enclave, Outpost, and Horde, which I have yet to read. My brother was actually nice enough to buy me those for Christmas. Then in the back, I have a few random books. Again, there's no specific order. For example, Sweet Pearl, Sweet Evil, um, Arise Hereafter, a few of the Katie McGarry books, Aeon, which I'm super pumped about reading because I heard that was amazing and is really um, comparable to Milan, which I loved. Then once you move over here, there's another one of these. I actually have four of these in my shelf. Let me get up real quick. So I'm not crawling on my legs and feet, or legs and knees. Down here again, I have some random books that I have yet to read. A lot of these are books that I kind of bought on a splurge, but after cleaning through my, going through my bookshelf and cleaning it out, these are ultimately the books that I really, really still wanted to read, including Gulliver's Travel, which I'm actually the most excited about for some reason. But yeah, so there are those. Here's another box. This box actually has some crafting supplies in it. It's obviously very messy. I haven't gone through these yet. So, um, you know, I tried to just dust and clean and organize my books. I have yet to go through the boxes. So, here's this one. Another one of my favorite series slash trilogy. The Selection, the Elite, the one in the air. I have yet to read the air, but the rest of them were really, really good. Then I have Hallowed, Boundless, and Unearthly, which just look absolutely gorgeous. I've read the first two, I think. I have yet to read the third. Then back here again, we have some random books, The Pledge, The Essence, and The Offering, which I'm super excited about. I'm definitely going to go ahead and marathon those, and a few other ones that were either sent to me or that I picked up really cheap that I'm super excited to read. Then down here... We come to another box, and I'm actually not sure, I think, yeah, this is the one with the candles in it. So I just have a whole bunch of candles that I bought at Bath and Body Works or other places that I um, save and keep in here, and as soon as you open this box, it smells so strong, it's almost like nauseating. And it's super, super heavy. So yes, that's my candle, one of the two candle boxes I have. Then down here I have Rush and Push, and then the, um, Chemical Garden Trilogy, which I loved. That's another one of my favorite trilogies. Back here are some random books, like The Hunter Games Companion, which I'm super excited about, as well as The Lux and The Fault in Our Stars, which was absolutely amazing. Then down here we have a random binder, along with the House of Night series, and a few other random books back there. And over here is a random shelf once again, and this is more like school stuff, so there's notebooks that I'm like halfway through that I plan on using for the next school year or binders or brand new notebooks and binders and things like that. So I keep that all in one shelf. It's kind of like my school shelf. Yeah. So let me just give you an overview of that. Then on this shelf is my TV. A little light over here. 
and my um, brother's old PlayStation that I just used to watch Netflix. Then right here we have a stool and this stool or chair or lounger thing I got at um, Ikea as well. I don't know if they still have it, but if I can find it, I will put the link down below. Hello Kitty sitting on there along with a zebra blanket that I purchased from Target, I believe. So now that that chair is gone, you can probably see what's in the shelf. It looks like this. And I'm sorry if you're gonna hear random dog barking, that's because my dog's right on the front porch and that's because we have people working on a deck in our backyard. So this first shelf you're gonna see ruby red, sapphire blue, emerald green. You're also gonna see a Sonder and incarnate, which absolutely all five of those books have the prettiest covers in the world. Then in the back, I'm not sure if you can really tell all that well, but you're gonna see a couple cords from my TV as well as my PlayStation. And then you're gonna see the Vampire Academy series by, what's her name, Rachel M Mead? Rachel Med? Ma Rachel Mead? When you look into the next shelf, you're gonna see some more cords back there. I haven't really figured out a way to kind of hide those. My way of hiding them was putting them behind the shelf, but obviously that's not working. But you're gonna see uh, two boxes, and these boxes and whatever that is right there, envelopes, are for my Etsy shop. So anything I need to send off a package or to get a package ready, I will usually find right here. So there's that. In this next box, this right here is actually a box that has all my electrical stuff that I actually need to go through simply because there's probably stuff in here from old iPods, old cell phones, and other old things that I just don't even own anymore. So that's another one of the things that I need to get done before school starts. Right here we have Julie Kagawa's um, Iron King series slash trilogy or whatever it is. We have Ali Condi's Matched trilogy, which I absolutely adored. And then the back we have some um, Oliver, um, Lauren Oliver books, along with the Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy, and Maggie Steve Water, Steve Vodder's Wolves of Mercy Falls trilogy, which I absolutely loved. Still have not gotten the chance to reread those. Then right here you have Shadows of Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, The Mad Man's Daughter and her dark curiosity. In this little shelf, you're gonna see Beastly, you're gonna see Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, Greg Olson's Envy and Betrayal. In this shelf, I've only read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and it was absolutely amazing. In this box is like random pencils and office supplies and other things that I don't really feel like I need to pull out and show you. In this box, um, I think are crayons and colored pencils. In that box are some more small candles from like Bath and Body Works, the mini ones um, that I put into the small one that just didn't fit into the big one. When you come back over here, we have all of my um, Lauren Conrad books that I also want to marathon and just get rid of. I heard they aren't all that great, but since I own five of them, I felt like I should be reading them. And they seem like a light summer read, which is absolutely perfect for the last two months of my summer break. Then right here, we have a lot of random books that I picked up at half price that I really, really want to read. For example, um, The Crown of Midnight and The Throne of Glass, The Raven Boys books, and Panic, which I actually already read. And I know you can't really see it but that because we are in the little, little dark corner. So, right here I have the Beautiful Creatures series. I have some like school supplies in here. I can actually show you some sticky notes, highlighters, and stuff like that. And it's not closing, there we go. Then I have the Cinder series with Ferris, which I have not yet gotten to read. Then I have the Pretty Little Liar series along with the um, Lion Game. And then I'm not sure if there's anything in the back here. There may or may not be. There is, but I'm not going to pull it out, but it's basically just the Twilight series and the Twilight books and Stephanie Myers and another Stephanie Myers book. But yeah, that was basically my bookshelf, quick and dirty. Um, I just spent so much time cleaning it and I'm very, very proud of myself of how many books I got rid of. If you have yet to see my unhaul, book, my unhaul video, also will be linked down below. And it will show you just how many books I got rid of. I'm so like mad at myself for not taking a before and after picture. If you have any questions or comments or if you want to know where any of these things are from, then definitely just comment down below and I will get to it as soon as I can, which will probably be like the second that you post it. But all right. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for taking the time to check out this video.
Bye.